Stardew Valley Update 1.6 playthrough. No mods, no speedrunning. We are going to check out all of the new stuff with the new update. This game is super cozy, super chill, and it's super amazing. Let's go! Hey everybody, welcome back to Meadowview Farm. It is me, Jellybean, with my husband Sam here. <laughs> welcome back to Meadowview Farm. Hope all is well with you. Glad to see you guys. Really glad that you have taken your time and chosen to, to you know, watch and join me. Um, so much going on, I just feel like, like, wow, you know, like I turned left and I turned right, and I'm like, oh my gosh, so much to do, I don't even know which way to go. <laughs> But um, last episode, we actually got this amazing, um, we opened up like this quiver thingy, or not, no, we opened up our trinket um, holder, I don't know, slot, I guess that's what they call it. And we did find the magic quiver, that is a lot of fun, the parrot egg is a lot of fun. Yeah, so this little trinket slot, amazing, I have to say, I love it. <laughs> I'm super excited to like find out like what other possible trinkets, you know, we can find, and, and this and that. I'm not sure I'll love anything more than the quiver. The quiver, I, oh my gosh, it's it's the best. I love it. If you missed last episode, it like shoots this like little like pew pew arrowy, I don't know, arrowy thing, and uh, at, at like mobs. And <laughs> oh gosh, it's great. <laughs> anyway, let's get started on today's episode. I think today I want to try to focus on like thinking about here. I need to back up because I like to be able to see better. I want to try to focus on like kind of preparing for um, checking like our progress. Grandpa will come back at the end of year two and we are approaching the end of year two. It's autumn of year two. And when we first kind of started, Grandpa had a little note up here that said like, you know, grandchild, I'll, I'll come back at, at the end of year two. And I don't know. I don't remember exactly what he said. But I think we're going to kind of go through the progress. Oh, our inventory is totally full. Yeah. <laughs> You can't pick up anything. Anyway, so that's one thing I want to focus on. And then, yeah, just kind of see what else happens today. Of course, we'll take it as it comes. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. My hand or my arm, I guess, is, is still in this, let's see, an eel. Um, maybe, I don't know. If we don't do it, whatever. But my hand is still in the splint. So um, if you missed the episode, I, I crashed on my scooter and messed up my wrist so it's in a it's in a split for a little while it's getting better it doesn't like hurt and throb and stuff at well and very much anymore but I mean like it's still like not easy to it's still like impossible to move right? <laughs> so anyway we'll still um, might like find me like struggling to do like certain things and it's because I can't move my wrist <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing most of this is going to be junk. I just want to break them, just get them. I mean, what else do you do with them? There's really nothing you can do with these. The Omni Geodes you can actually do stuff with, but these, so I just figured, ah, we'll bust them open. I, I doubt we'll find anything spectacular at all. All right, yeah, there wasn't anything great in there. I really don't think here. We'll break open all of these frozen geodes as well, and then we'll go see if Gunther needs any of them. All right, so there is that. Yeah, okay. I don't think any of that was new. But still, we're going to run down and check whatever, um, and I'm going to guess Gunther doesn't need any. We'll sell all the rest of it to, to Clint. Oh, no, there is something we have to donate. Oh, there's two, really? Okay, interesting. Is this all done in the bottom? Here, can we... There, we can move that. Um, okay, the bottom's totally full, so we'll put... Um, here, we'll start putting things over here, but we'll put this one in the middle there. Okay, so, okay, oh wait, hold up, I saw another one. Just as I was clicking out, we didn't do this one either. It's just very great, okay, cool. All right, I think so far this is all repeats. Yeah, all of this looks familiar. Then again, I mean, I've played the game for so long. <laughs> it's gonna look familiar, but I think we've gotten all of this already. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we got six of the iridium out of one of the lava geodes. That's that's a nice one. Everything else was, yeah, everything else was pretty pretty standard. Okay, again, I think we'll run down to the museum just to see if Gunther needs anything. I think no, though. Nope, never mind. He does need what? Oh, really? I thought I gave him this. All right, well, we're going to take, we're going to, here, we're going to put that there. I'm going to move this. Let's do that. Let's do these first. We'll see what happens after this. 
Okay, glazed yams. Coffee. More coffee. Alright, nothing new so far. Alright, big bombs. Those are cool. Oh, what's that? A book of mysteries. Interesting. I'm not sure I've seen one of those before. Fish stew, yeah. Alright, most of this stuff is pretty meh. Yeah, okay, I, I do like the warp home. Those are always handy. Okay, more bombs is good. Coffee, we got plenty of that. Okay, yeah, and the last one there. Alright, so I guess we'll break apart a couple of these at least. Alright. Maybe we'll do like down to 30 and we'll leave like 30 of them. Alright, so nothing great, and then we'll do one more, and then we'll leave a stack of 30. Okay, yeah. Nothing, nothing interesting. Alright. <laughs> I'll still run down to the Gunther just to see if he happens to need anything, but I kind of think no. But then again, I've said that all the other times. Okay, this time he doesn't need it. Okay. And I did, like, change things around. <laughs> Organize things a little bit. Okay, oh, the quarry. Wow, the quarry has lots of stuff. Alright, maybe we'll do this. Clean this up. And I almost forgot it's actually George's birthday, and we're not 100% like, you know, good hearts with him, so we'll actually go and give him a birthday present. We'll bring him a birthday present. And then, actually, I'm gonna think about the TV remote. It says, obviously, it's something for an avid TV watcher. Perfect for the avid TV watcher. So I'm going to think maybe this is for George. Uh, what's this? Huh, so you push this button first. What's this button do? Hey, how about that? It's a new channel. Okay, so th obviously that was the right one. Um, let's see. He says, take this. I found it when I was a coal miner back in the day. Funny thing, it's glowed blue and stayed cold for 40 years like magic. An arctic shard. Um, interesting. Okay, this one. Okay, this shard glows with an otherworldly blue light. Okay, so either wizard or Krobus or dwarf are the three people that come to mind, and I don't actually remember this one at all. So... I don't know. Maybe we're going to try Krobus. Yeah, I, I actually don't know. Maybe maybe wizard. A Krobus, wizard, dwarf. I'll, I'll try all three of them. I'm going to try Krobus first. It's probably not right. It's probably wizard. But I'm going to go try Krobus. Okay, Krobus, I found this thing. I was given this thing. Is this for you? Oh, it's an arctic shard. That's a very rare magical item. I'd bring that to the wizard. Okay, okay. That was my second thought. Thank you, Krobus. <laughs> and so that's the thing. If you try to give it to the wrong person, they're not going to keep it. You know, they're just going to go, nope, that's not for me. And, um, and yeah, so okay. Take it to the wizard. All right, we will take this to the wizard right now and see what he has to say. Ah, an arctic shard, a most powerful substance indeed, and potentially infused with the element of ice. I'll take it if you don't mind. Uh, you're still here. Oh, you want something. Here, take this. A wriggly worm. You received a wriggly worm. All right. It's a wriggly wet worm. Okay, I mean, the only person that I can possibly think of would be Willie, since he is obviously like the fisherman, right? And every time I go in Wizard's house, it's reminding me of something that we haven't done. <laughs> There's like so much that we have. Oh, I'm stuck. There's so much that we haven't done. All right, I'm gonna actually head to the bar, see if I can find Willie. He might be in his house. He might be in the bar. I really don't know like his schedule. So we'll see if he happens to be down here new. All right, we'll go down to the beach, see if I can find him. Oh, he's still out fishing. Okay, let's see. Is this you? Ah, uh, that's the perfect bait for a catfish I've been trying to catch. Okay, here, let me trade you this for it. I'm not sure what it is, but it washed it up on the beach not too long ago. Something tells me you could use it, miss. Oh, yay! 
we got the pirate's necklace. Okay, that's awesome. That's exactly what we've been kind of after. So that was a fun little scavenger hunt. Obviously, this pirate's necklace goes to the pirate's widow or the pirate's wife or whatever her name is. Oh, that's where this is. Oh, okay. I forgot about this. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you translate the dwarf fish. Yeah, because we now have the dwarf translated. Um, stand between the pillars, three. With a gift as precious as the sky, a rainbow forged from the land, not sea, then the galaxies will heed your cry. Okay, so a rainbow forged from the land, and you stand between the pillars, three. Okay, so awesome. I was, I was <laughs> trying to remember where that little clue and stuff was, so. Perfect. All right, well, we, I know the answer to that one. Rainbow thingy forged from the land. Do we, oh no, do we not have one? Oh wait, we're in here. Okay, we do, we do. Okay, perfect. So there's the rainbow thingy forged from the land. Uh, so then the next time, next time we go to the desert, we'll take that. Yeah, I forgot to read that headstone after we have the the dwarf thingy translated. Coming to bed? Question <laughs> mark. You have slightly greater chance to find mystery. Oh, you know what? Have we read this one? I don't think we've read this one, you guys. We have it. Okay, well, we need to read this one. You've learned a new power. Awesome. And then, yep, there it is. Okay, cool. We still have quite a few books, actually, that we haven't read. And I think it's because I, I like, sold most of the books at the start. I just kind of wanted to look and kind of see where we were. Um, just do a progress check. I'm not sure like how often I like show you guys this. So obviously we've maxed out all of our levels. That's how we got into the little secret door in the hillside. Um, and so this is filling up more. This is obviously we finished the Junimo, the, the original community center Junimos. Oh, okay, cool. This is where we see that we have um, the gold walnuts for the the island. So, okay. So I was wondering where to find that. Looks like we've gotten our house to a level four. We've made it to 63 in the Skull Caverns. Not that it matters because it resets every time. So we've found five star doors. Okay. I like that it's kind of showing us the progress here. This is how we're doing with everybody. I'll just kind of scroll down 100% with everybody there except for Jess. And then, yeah, then we start Kent Caroline, okay, and then we start having not 100% with anybody, and down to, okay, so two, they're Nyla now, <laughs> now that I can actually pick up and touch Nyla, <laughs> there's all that, and then I do love how the map changes, that's amazing, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> then we have the Ginger Island, can I click on it? No, okay, no, <laughs> whoops, and then we just, yeah, I, I guess I need to go through, eventually I want to make all of everything, like one of everything in there, um, our animals, okay, some of them are newer, some of them are, okay, there, there, there's all of our animals, and then here's all of our special stuff, and then I probably won't click through all these, I'll probably, like, check through all of these things at a later time, because I do want to make sure, you know, to, like, 100% everything here, so we'll check that out, and then those are options, so, all right, okay, I'll come to bed, hey, look at that, before midnight, <laughs> since Sam asked me to, <laughs> So anyway, so that's just, oh, thanks for the gem, appreciate it. That's just, I wanted to kind of do a little progress check because, um, yeah, you know, like, as I, as I kind of, like, look through my stuff, I don't always show it, um, I have to cut out, obviously, the boring stuff and this and that, so, but I did want to kind of, like, show you guys a little bit of progress, so, let you know where we're at. Um, I do eventually really want to get a pet, I do really eventually want to decorate our house, the house is looking not fun. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. <laughs> but I think it costs like $30,000 from Robin to update or to like buy that little catalog thingy. So I don't know. It, it's kind of, I think I want to get a pet first. Another pet, another pet. Of course we have Meowie. <laughs> and I love Meowie. And then obviously in here we have one of every animal that we can get, like from Marnie. So I think as far as progress, uh, when Grandpa comes back and, you know, kind of sees how we're doing, um, I think we'll be really good to go. I think uh, there isn't probably anything more that he's going to, I don't know, kind of judge on that we haven't done. 
I think in general we've been playing like a fairly well-rounded game, and, and that was kind of my intention. I didn't want to like super hyper focus on one thing versus another, um, just kind of like well-round everything. And, and so I think Grandpa will be pleased, and um, yeah. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know that there's anything like 100% that I'm like, oh my gosh, before Grandpa comes back, like we need to do, you know, whatever. I don't, I don't think there's anything that comes to my mind. All right, crab cakes, cool. Those are actually really good for the mines. They've got some pretty good stats to, to go, yeah, to the mines. It makes you a little bit faster and a little more defense if <laughs> Alright, then I'll start on level 70 because, of course, that's the only place- oh wow, nice. It's the only place to be able to find skeletons, so I'm just going to run through. I am equipped with a quiver, so this should be uh, really easy. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if I can just, like, look around for the, um, the ladder while that quiver just, like, takes the, uh, skele- oh yeah, it does. Okay, I didn't touch the skeleton at all. <laughs> That's cool. But I think like down in the- oh we found another book! Bait and Bobber, cool. Alright, run through number two. Still needing more fragments, I don't think we found very many at all. Yeah, not very many, I think we started with 30. Oh, did this not reset? I need you to reset, okay yeah, it reset. Oh, here we go. Hopefully lots of bones. Lots of bones, please. Drop lots of bones. That's what we're after. Okay, everybody drop three. Three each. Three from you. Um, that was only one. Three from you. That was three. No, that was two total. Ah, oh, darn. Okay. There, one more. Okay, and one. Yeah, not only is the drop rate of these dudes, like, really terrible, they, like, hardly ever drop bones, but, like, there's, like, barely any of them in these... each level. Yeah, there's one in here. There's been so many... Okay, yeah, no more. There's been so many that's had basically none. Alright, I think we only found, like, 35... Uh, okay, we're up to 64, so... I mean, I guess maybe we'll be able to finish it this time. Oh, what would do? Oh my gosh, I didn't even see that we got this, you guys. Sometime uh, during our trip, uh, we got an ice rod, shoots an orb of ice every 4.8 seconds, freezes enemies in its path. Wow. Well, that's kind of cool. We're going to have to try that out. <laughs> Nyla, why? <laughs> Nyla, why are you ramming your head into the, like the, okay, and now mommy. Okay, you're crazy. Crazy baby. <laughs> Alright, last night we also got Bait and Bobber. Have we read- I honestly don't remember if we've read this. We haven't. Okay, well let's read this one. You've learned a few things about fishing. Was that not a- no, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> I guess I never know like the difference between the actual books that we're supposed to read and then the, the ones we don't really need. <laughs> but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that one was only 500 bucks. So we'll <laughs> wow, I haven't been in here in a while. I've been neglecting things, as you guys can see. Alright, break all these since they're not supposed to be here. Now I can actually kind of organize things in the right way. Um, and then actually we'll move probably these down. I will move all of this stuff. And then once I, I once these are done, I will move them to... Oops, no, I didn't need to do that. I'm going to come right down to here. Alright, I think I will load, and I did try to check and see if Robin could make this any bigger, and she can't. So I think this is as big as it's going to get. I will just kind of make a little bit of a line of these things right here. I'll probably take them up later, but I think just kind of the special things. And then these I will move down, just to kind of be our first line. And then we'll probably fill the rest of it with kegs. I don't know how many actual preserves jar will do, but, but we'll just kind of go over like that for now. Every time I get this jar, I keep reminding myself that I still haven't done it. Okay, let's let's go right now. <laughs> right now we'll go up there. Oh my gosh. Okay, we looked at this the other night, or a couple episodes back. 
it was dark, I didn't want to go in. So, <laughs> when we completed the vo uh, Voidus, uh, when we completed something for, uh, no, anyway, when we completed the challenge for the wizard, he opened this up. So, we are able to come into here when we step on this little thing. <laughs> And then it puts us here at this really weird, and actually this kind of looks like down in the sewer, that little tunnel in the sewer a little bit, but... Yeah, human! <laughs> you want to pass? I'm sorry, this is private property. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass, I'd lose my job. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass, I'd lose my job. And that's literally all this dude's gonna say. However, there's a book in the library, and I have read all the books in the library, and if you notice this dude's name is, I don't know, it says something about a goblin, and um, yeah, and one of the, okay, I'm trying to, how do I get out of there, okay, one of the books in the library says um, that the goblins love void mayonnaise, so um, if we feed this goblin void mayonnaise, like the, the book suggests, Sniff, sniff, that smell, I can't resist, give you that, and then he runs away. <laughs> so that's the way to get past that little dude. And then we have access to in here, and then this is what the wizard asked us to get. His magic ink. Yes, okay, better return it to him. Alright, but we could like still kind of check out in here. Dark Shrine of Night Terror is an ancient magic... Magic seal of protection will be lifted, allowing monsters to appear at your farm at night. Um, no thank you. <laughs> Dark Shrine of Memory. The statue stares you through. And Dark Shrine of Selfishness. Your children will turn into doves and fly away. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow, okay. And then, let's see. And then if we stand on this... Okay, this looks familiar, and so uh, we already checked this. Oh no, we already checked this one out earlier. Um, and then if we go up in here, it puts us through to the wizards. <laughs> you found my magic ink. Excellent. All right, and then as a reward, wizard says here. Oh, okay, okay. So he's opened up this little book. It's a book of summoning. The arcane potential is immense, but I'll make it simple for you. By using this book, you can summon magic buildings directly to your farm. I think you'll find it useful. Oh, yay! I almost forgot to say, um, thank you. <laughs> okay, that's very cool. Okay, so then that's where we come out when we came from that little room. And then this can build us a Junimo hut. It's going to cost us all of this stuff. Junimos will harvest crops around the hut for you. Um, and a warp to the mountains, a warp to the beach, a warp to the desert, and a warp to Ginger Island. Oh, Ginger Island. Okay, Fern Island. I thought is what he called it. Okay, Ginger Island. I remember that name. Duh. <laughs> Ginger Island. And, um, and then there is a clock prevents debris from appearing on your farm, keeps fences from decaying, and then back to the start. Okay, fine. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, wizard. Alright, yeah, and I've been forgetting to do that. I knew that we had <laughs> access to that for a while. And, uh, yeah, whoops. Just kept forgetting. Alright, nothing that we want. Bye, sorry. Oh! <laughs> Raccoon hungry, need fruit. Okay, so he just finds a, fruit, a wife on his own. Okay. So what, what is, oh, he wants dried cactus fruit and coconut jelly. Oh, interesting. Is this Mrs. Raccoon? Oh, she sounds, how cute is this? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. That's so fun. Aw. Okay, well, cool. Um, so it's exciting that Mr. Raccoon just finds a wife on his own. I kind of was thinking it was something that I needed to do for him, but good. <laughs> I'm glad. glad for him. Let's actually head to the mines. I want to try to get this Fragments of the Past done because, of course, tomorrow is the Spirit Eve. And so, like, most of the day will be... Or I guess not most of the day. I guess we could go and do most of the stuff, like, at night. But anyway, let's just see what we can do. I'd like to, like, get it done. Honestly, most of my time on this level is... Or on this challenge is spent on levels just like this. Absolutely 
no skeletons on them, and then I just have to dig around and try to find a ladder. Okay, that was actually fast. Usually they're not that fast. Yeah, usually they're just like this. Oh, there, there's one skeleton. <laughs> but yeah, one skeleton, and that I have spent uh, a long time just digging around for a ladder. Okay, lots of skeletons. Okay, come on, drop stuff. It's already past noon or midnight, so... Wow, this is like a busy, uh, <laughs> busy one. Which I'm not going to complain, I like it. Wow, so many mobs. Oh, I forgot to use the ice rod. I didn't even put that. Yeah, I know, totally didn't even think about it. All right, we ended it with 81, so darn. <laughs> we'll have to continue on tomorrow. But I think maybe let's have the, the slime hutch built like down here. So maybe we'll clear out all of this. Okay, the hay just keeps going. Apparently the silo is quite empty. <laughs> I guess we have two of them now. And we have a lot of animals, so we definitely need to get the silo filled up. Does the purple grass count, do you think? Yeah, it does. Okay. Alright, then I'm going to clear out this, and then we'll run and talk to us, see if Marty happens to be working. I'm guessing no. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Raccoon. I'm so sorry. I've, uh, like, totally not paid attention to you guys quite yet. Oh, she is working. Okay, perfect. Yay! Adopt a pet. Okay, we already have Meowie, so let's get... Oh, so many tough choices. Um, oh, this is rough. Get it? Get it, you guys? Oh, man, this is rough. Okay, I think, I think, I think let's go with, oh, oh, they're, they're all so cute, though. <laughs> all right, let's go with this one. Ruger. <laughs> Great, I'll send little Ruger to your home right away. Yay! <laughs> okay, hi, Meowie. Where's Ruger at, though? I don't see... I don't see Ruger anywhere. Is he in the house? Hey, Nyla. Do you... Oh, I hear him. I hear him. Where is he? Where is he? Is he down here? Oh my gosh, the house is... Uh, no. I hear him. Ruger, where are you? Am I blind? Am I just not seeing him? Where is he? Oh, there he is! <laughs> I can't even see mine. Hi, Ruger! <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. We said hi to Ruger. Alright, let's go to the mines. We'll finish this thing up. We have to take the shortcut up this way because we can't go through town because of the festival being set up. Oh, sweet. Look at how many mobs are in here. Okay, it's so nice. But please all just drop bones. Drop bones, this is amazing. So many bones. Eight? Nine? Okay, good. Oh, perfect, done. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Perfect. With that out of the way, we just have to drop them at the museum counter, but we can't do that today because they're setting up for the festival. So. <laughs> So here's the book that gives monsters a chance to drop double the loot. Right after we've completed the one that I kind of kept saying, okay, this would be nice. But I also think you guys, I'm pretty sure like it looks like this is the book right there just from the shape of it. So we obviously have to read this one. So we'll read it. Yep, we've learned a new power. And yeah, okay, not surprising. <laughs> we got it right after that would have been nice. Okay, we'll go to town and we'll just jump right into the festival. Sweet. Okay, so I bought the recipe for the jack-o'-lantern. I'm gonna actually buy this. It says collect them all. So I'm gonna just buy that one. We've got plenty of money. I kind of hadn't done it before because we were pretty poor. Oh, he says that the maze is bigger this year. So maybe it's different and maybe I won't actually know the way through it this time. Okay, that's exciting. Okay, I love all the new, like, things people are saying. It's very interesting. They all have something new to say. And, of course, everybody's kind of, like, arranged in different spots. Oh, that's awesome. Vincent's got to go in the, the maze this year. That's so cool. Sam had actually, like, talked to me back at home, and he was like, I wonder if my mom's going to let Sam go in the maze this year. She hasn't let him grow up sometimes, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, there's, like, little spider webby things all over everything. Cute. Okay, cool. It's all so different. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, you can't actually get through here. Okay, well, that's interesting. 
Okay, this is pretty cool. Everything's so new. I love it. This is my spot. <laughs> it's like kind of hard to get through. Okay, there. Val well, Vincent, did we beat the vase? Where's my prize? <laughs> my little brother and I made it pretty far in here, but we got stuck. Oh, okay. Okay, I have to say this one is tough. <laughs> okay, finally made it. <laughs> okay, yay! Oh, a prize ticket. Okay, awesome. <laughs> no golden pumpkin, huh? But that's fine. I'd rather have the prize ticket. Okay, this one was tough. It was really cute, though. Oh my god. <laughs> And then I love that, that they've like incorporated all of this around here. So very fun. What I noticed last year was there as a cart. Um, I mean, of course, the, the layout was totally different. So um, I noticed last year, like on like the side of the thingy, as I was just leaving, there was actually an arrow that went to the right that pointed to the minecart. And I'm sure that if I would have clicked on it, it says take the secret shortcut bag. Yeah, I totally missed it. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I figured there was a shortcut bag on, on both of the mazes. So, oh my gosh, that was so cool. <laughs> Love the new maze. That's a lot of fun. I managed to get through it, so that's awesome. It was difficult. There was like a whole lot of like <laughs> dead endy parts, but I don't have no idea you guys are going to talk to everybody, but um, <laughs> I think we're going to call it good. So fun. I love it. Okay, it is the last day of autumn. It's a good luck day. So, what should we do today? There's like so many options now. We can like go to the Calico Desert. We can go to Ginger Island. We could like do all sorts of things. I got up early. I watered some crops. You've got them under control. I do. They. I, if you gave both of the pets some water, so that's nice. Aw, Ruger. <laughs> Hi, Ruger. Hi, Miami. <laughs> Cute. Oh, I love having a dog and a cat. This is so great. All right, you guys. I definitely want to get back to the Calico Desert, but uh, with my arm in the sling still, and it's actually kind of starting to ache, I think all that like mask clicking is not going to be a good idea for me right now. So, unfortunately, um, I'm going to say no to the Calico Desert, even though that's what I would rather do. But we'll, um, we'll go to the um, ginger island we do need to go and drop off the bone fragments at the museum so let's go do that all right just drop these off here and then that is that oh that's a lot of money that's nice that was worth the trouble okay we'll grab that and then we'll claim our prize ticket just because i want to Oh, we got two things. Okay, well, I guess this is probably not either of the things we need to take to the desert with or to the ginger island with us, but that's fine. Oh, cute! <laughs> We've got some more fun stuff coming up. Looks like a little piggy picture. Alright, hi, Willie. If you would please drive us back to ginger island, please. Yes, yes. All right, and then I have brought chests so that we can drop. I'm just gonna drop a chest, I don't know, right here. And then I'm gonna leave kind of the Ginger Island stuff. I'm gonna leave tent kits, I'm gonna leave a big chest. Uh, I've got a warp home, maybe we'll carry that. And then I think we'll just carry this stuff with us in our, in our pockets. Okay, cute music, good to be back. I think first let's go talk to the pirate's wife. We got that little charm for her, so that's the first thing we're gonna do. We haven't even like looked around here, and I totally realized that we haven't even looked around here. <laughs> oh, here. We'll grab that. And we'll grab that. Okay, we will give her that. We set it down, and then she's gonna go gasp. <laughs> it is. Oh, she looks sad, but she's happy. Uh, she says you've brought me great peace. This locket will come for me. How can I repay you? Oh, how about I teach you a special recipe? Something I discovered many years ago. Okay. You learned how to craft fairy dust. Oh, fun! And you can take these. Two. Oh, okay, she gave us some um, some walnuts. All right, cool. That was awesome. Alright, so I mean, I realize like we- oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, 
mission. Oh! <laughs> Our thingies <laughs> shoot at him. Okay, so obviously those are bad guys. Okay, that's pretty awesome. How long can I just sit here and it'll just peg that little dude? <laughs> okay, but I wanted to go check out this door. Um, you hear a strange voice from behind the door. Only the greatest walnut hunter may enter here. Your current stat is 18 out of 100. Yo! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get our sword. We'll see. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Oh wow, there's so many slime. Okay, can I just hit him? Okay. Oh. Okay, so far, oh, oh, yikes, oh, yikes, he got me, and that did not do great to my health. <laughs> okay, oh, man, we found another wallet, sweet. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I see one right here. Alright. Alright, these, we get this, and then that. What are you? You said ten? Oh, actually, so yeah, I'm gonna say yeah, because we have ten of them. Oh! Okay. <laughs> I love the little parrot attack. Wow. Crazy parrot mob. And then, okay, so it's a little, okay, so docks. Okay, so it's a little transporter. Cute! Oh, okay, so that's where that takes you. And then, volcano. Oh, okay, 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 perfect! Alright, well that's fun. And then, okay, we, we already kind of walked around here. What I want to do, though, is come in here because last time we did not have... Here, let's get some of this stuff out of our hands. Oh, wait, we got another journal scrap. Hold on, let's read this. I won't go hungry here. The waters are full of many edible, nay, delicious fish. I've even got a stingray. Okay, so he's telling us fishing places. Okay, so these are fishing things. I don't have my fishing pole. I'm not going to do that today. But let's grab some water because you can see the water dripping there and that gives you the clue of what you need to do to walk uh, along the lava here. So there's that. Oh, yikes. We already got guys. Okay. Oh, and then there's a dragon in the water. I can see. Yeah, I knew that was coming. I saw it poke its head up. Oh my gosh, there's so many dudes. This is supposed to be a good luck day. Okay. All right, well, let's peek inside of here. Um, okay, so it looked like regular rock. What was that? I just heard a weird, like, screechy noise. Oh, I heard it again. Oh, okay, here comes a fireball. Okay, yikes. <laughs> oh, my thinky's hitting it, though. Okay. Oh wow, this thing is fast. Okay, but this actually isn't helpful. I'd rather probably hit it with my thing. Okay, well, whatever. Okay, oh, okay, well, I guess it helped a little bit. And then, yikes. Okay, there's like so much going on. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's just ore. Okay. Okay, so these just look normal. That's just ore. Iron ore, I should say. And then copper. Oh, I saw I saw iridium up there. Fun! Okay. And then I see something new down here too though. What's this? Cinder shards. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, and then we have another fire dude. Oh, 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 yikes, run! <laughs> I did not plan for that. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Okay. Okay, yikes, 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 yikes. <laughs> oh, he dropped a walnut, though. Okay, cool. Oh, I got another walnut. Wow, we're finding so many walnuts in here. Okay, I wanted to get over to that iridium, but... <laughs> okay. Alright, the thing about this place is that you either have to... You can't just leave at any time, you have to get back to one of the exits, so... Beware of that. 
Okay, it's 8.30. I do have a work back to the farm, so if we're feeling like we're stuck, which we might be. Oh, cool, that is iridium. I made it look like iridium, and it is, so that's awesome. Okay, our health is not fabulous, though. Um, I'm not sure, like, how far I want to keep going. It's nine. Um, oh, yikes. Uh, you know what? I don't know. Maybe we'll go back down. I kind of just wanted to take a peek. I did take off our, um, our light. Oh, okay, so you literally have to go backwards. I did take off our light ring, like, the ring that gives us light. I, in exchange for the ring that, like gives us oh no there's so many of these again i thought we got them all okay well that's not great in exchange for the ring that gives us a little bit of health when we kill a monster so that's why like things aren't quite lit up these places are like mazes how do you get out of here i don't even remember the way out i might not even be okay here it is here it is quick go 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 <laughs> oh no we gotta go through another one <laughs> uh straight down where's the way out right here okay Am I going the right way? I like that this- okay, here. What level are we at? Oh my gosh, where is the end? Oh no, this is the end. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, this music! Oh, yo, this music is cool! Oh, okay, there, we killed it. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay, this music is so nice. And then I think you guys, the next time we come, this will be reset, so I think you have to, like, do this like all the time, so bring your water bucket with you every time. Okay, that music was cool. That was so fun. Oh, wait. There's a bird here now. Ten. Oh, well. Shoot, I didn't... And we only have three? How do we get back to there? Yeah, we only have three. Dang, I... Okay, so it's getting late, so I say let's go back to the docks. I kind of just wanted to check it out a little bit. Docks... I just basically wanted to go inside the volcano and see what that was about. And then should we leave... Should we leave our water bucket here? I mean, maybe that might be a good idea. The only thing that I water at our house is our little cactus thingy. And then we'll leave a warp home and... Alright, well, well, yeah, we'll, we'll go back. <laughs> maybe that was a little bit of waste of money, but still. I kind of just, I just wanted to check it out. Since I forgot our water bucket last time, I just wanted to check it out and kind of see see what was up with that. Okay, we gotta go home now. Wow, you guys, I can't believe it's already like the last day of autumn. It just goes so quick. Okay, oh, and Sam has his wintertime stuff on and that obviously shows that it is the first day of winter. The music, oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Here, I wanna back up for a second. Oh, I love how it looks in the winter, you guys. It just is like, the music is just peaceful, everything's just, I don't know, quieter. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. But I do need to edit here. Um, my arm is starting to ache, and that is a good stopping point. It's probably plenty time for the episode to be done anyway. So thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Um, I really appreciate um, the comments and, and all of that. And it's just so much fun, you know, to... To play the game and to, like chat with you guys about yeah you know kind of similarity and stuff and, and all of that so anyway hope you guys enjoy this episode and we will see you in the next time and we'll see you next time here at metaview farm until then i hope you guys have a fabulous day and uh, take care everyone <laughs> bye guys